In the heart of Alvaton, Kentucky, just outside Bowling Green, lies a small but famous venue, the Boyce General Store. And it's hard to believe, but this establishment has been in business for 150 years. In 1869, a reverend in the area, uh, Dr. Uh, reverend Lightfoot, um, decided that, hey, I'm tired of going into town for all my stuff, and you know, uh, all the farmers out here are too, so he, he built a, a general store here. Uh, the story goes that when he was going into town uh, on his way back with supplies, he, he met a little boy that lived in the area and picked him up and said, I'll take you home and asked, uh, you know, asked, what should I name my store? And he's like, well, name it after me, Boyce. So he named, uh, he named the store Boyce at the time. As the years have gone on, the store changed ownership and family names were placed on the sign. But as a community was built around the store, the name Boyce would eventually return. The Gallahars took over the store in 2012, which had become a small deli at the time, but now they've turned it into a full-scale restaurant. We got rid of all the general store stuff, uh, you know, the groceries and things, and and, uh, and and made it a restaurant. Started, you know, started doing, you know, fresh meat, you know, burgers and fish fries on Friday, and you know, the wife, my wife baking in the back. The Boyce General Store has a rich history, but its true claim to fame is the Pie Queen of Bowling Green. The Pie Queen was created just by chance when we bought the store. Um, since it does have such rich history, we wanted to do some kind of dessert because that's my favorite thing to make. And I just felt like pies went perfect with the little general store. And so I started making pies that go in the case and stuff. And um, we started noticing that people were buying out the pie before we even sold out a fish fryer or were closed for the night. And so we realized that the pies were really becoming popular. People were coming just for the pie. Um, and then, so Brad dubbed me the Pie Queen, and it just kind of stuck. Um, so I've been going by that title since 2015. My love for baking really started when I was a kid, um, making desserts for my dad. He's a major sweet tooth, just like me. And um, so it was always my thing to do, was make the desserts and always create new things. And my mom's an amazing cook, but she didn't love the dessert side of things, so it was always my I'm gonna make a cake or I'm gonna make this. And I started making cake pops from home for friends and stuff, um, was what really started um, my baking career. And then when we bought the store, we just kind of snowballed from there into pies and the pie queen land. <laughs> While this husband and wife duo has helped keep the doors to the Boyce General Store open for a small portion of these 150 years, they both agree it's really the community that helps this place thrive. Uh, you know, for 150 years, it's been the center of a voice of Alvaton, and uh, you know, and that's what we've we've attempted to continue to do is is make it the center and make it uh, keep it relevant and keep it family friendly. So, and, you know, people will continue to come here, um, you know, and and give someone a good time, great food. So when you leave and you go, hey, I found this place way out in the country, but you got to go find it. You know, it's great. That's that's what that's what's most important to us is that uh, you know we make it a place that everybody wants to talk about, wants to bring you know cousin from San Antonio out here. Uh, you know, that's that's the goal. In the Boyce General Store, I'm Jordan Smith, Bowling Green Daily News.